Hey, what's up guys? Roto Hype Beast back with another video and I apologize for uh, not filming for a while, but today coming on with a banger. We got a uh, thrift haul that I got from my brother. I spent like uh, $250 on all this thrift, uh, thrift stuff. Uh, it's about 35 different pieces. We have hats, we have uh, sweatshirts, shorts, jerseys, jackets, just yeah, shirts, and um, yeah, so let's get into it. All right, but before we get started, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at like 200 subscribers or something like that, so tell your friends. We're giving this away. Uh, they accidentally sent me two. As you can see, I got another one right there. Uh, yeah, it was just like 20 bucks, but I'll, I'll give one out for free. So uh, yeah, let's All get right, started. All right, so here we go with the hats. Um, I have 10 of them. And just so you know, before I uh, put anything out, uh, these are all going to be for sale. So if you want some, just hit me up. I got you. I might put them on eBay a little bit later, too. So uh, first one is probably my favorite. We got the Dolphin Splashback hat. I don't know where he got this. I think it was like Goodwill or something like that. See there? Pretty fire pro line. And then we got this Atlanta Falcons. I have like five of this style of hat. The NFL. I really like this style. I also started to like clean them up. And then we got the Houston Oilers. Same style, NFL. Pretty sick. Uh, let's see more of that style. We got the Boston Celtics one. I guess I only have three. Oops. With the NBA. Okay. Now we have. Indiana Hoosiers hat. I need to still clean this one up, though. It's a little dirty. Not that bad. This is another one of my favorites, the Utah Jazz vintage hat. And like I said, uh, if you want any of these, hit me up. kind of like the tags on this stuff. I'm trying to make this the quickest thing because hats should be the quickest thing because we got a lot more to go. So, uh, yeah, Utah Jazz. Uh, Wisconsin Badgers Rose Bowl hat from 1994, as you can see. If you want this, hit me up, especially Wisconsin fans. Uh, we got this uh, Missouri corduroy hat. It's kind of weird. The texture's different, of course. Very vintage. I like the little thing that you can move around. I don't know if I should be cleaning this or not. I don't know how to clean it. Um, here we go. Super Bowl XXXII. I do not know Roman numerals. So. Uh, it says 98 San Diego, California on the back. And last one, another one of my favorites. The Chicago Bulls three-peat hat. 93 NBA World Champions. Yeah. Okay, so now I think we're going to get on to uh, shorts, which is probably one of my other low-key ones. Right, so, let's get started. so, now we're on to the shorts. I only have three pairs. They are pretty huge, but uh, they're pretty cool still. Got some vintage champion shorts. Kind of weird, but still sick. They're huge, though. Stretch two. Then we got some, uh, these are cool, vintage North Carolina shorts. Jordan on top. You can see right there. Pretty sick. Then my favorite out of the shorts. We got the vintage 90s swim shorts. Different colors, pretty cool. Uh, as you can see right around the line. We got the sailboats. Fire. Uh, but yeah. All right, now we're going to get onto the jackets. I have two of them, but they're pretty puffy, so it's all right. Now onto the jackets. So to start off, we got this uh, Chicago White Sox one. I got this at a uh, rummage sale for like five bucks. I think it's pretty cool. So I had to scoop. This is by Swingster, size extra large. Pretty cool. Then this is this is really cool. I really like this one. But the vintage 
vintage box one. On the back, you can see box. This takes up the whole camera, but that's okay. And then it says logo seven right there. Feel focus. Yeah. Got the old colors and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And now we're going to be getting on to the, I think we should do t-shirts. All right, t-shirts, and then we got two other categories. So let's All right, so our t-shirts kind of on the low. Not a lot, we got like five. Still pretty cool though. Extra large, Chicago Bears tee, all orange, really cool. Love the graphics. That's a pretty cool one. Then, this is probably my favorite. We got the keep it going with the theme Chicago. Chicago, I ain't afraid of no goat. Uh, if you know, there's like a, for the Cubs, there's a curse of the Billy Goat. Apparently, this dude wanted to get a goat into the stadium. They said no, so he put a curse on them. And they didn't win any uh, World Series since like, for like 80 years or something like that. Now, obviously, it's changed. But, uh, yeah, let's keep going. The Kramer shirt. This is pretty small, actually. I don't know what size it is, but uh, pretty cool with the Seinfeld uh, the tag. But, yeah, Kramer, I'm thinking, like, this is a small. If you can make it fit, it's a scoop. All right, now this is a big shirt. We got Vince Lombardi, Green Bay Packers. Uh, this is from Super Bowl XXXI uh, in 98, or 97, sorry, in Louisiana. And then we got... The shirt says, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. So it's a quote here, and then as you can see up there, pretty cool. Alright, last shirt. Notre Dame football, T. As you can see, I'm trying to see what this is. It's a champion, got the little champion thing. Flip it. This T is an extra large. Going with the bigger T's. A little wrinkly. I don't have to wash it. And okay, now we're down to two other category categories. I think we're gonna have to go with the jackets. These are my best categories. We got a lot of good stuff there. But yeah, we got a lot of jackets. So let's get going. So this is probably the most heat in the whole thing. First, we got this uh, 90s Nike Windbreaker, maybe early 2000s, something like that. Really cool, though. The vintage Nike tag. Large, size large. It's really nice. Really durable and stuff. Light blue, cool, pretty cool. Uh, Michael Jordan crew neck. Really sick. This is the best out of all of them. You can rock a fit with a three-peat. This is also a large. It's from Starter, though. Pretty cool. There's like a little cut somewhere around here. Yeah, like right there. But yeah, pretty cool still. I'm trying to fold these to make sure nothing bad happens. Okay. Oh, now we're on the... I guess we have some a little bit of pants. We got these uh, athletic pants, Olympics USA, pretty cool, uh, size large too, right there you can see the little uh, USA thing, with the five rings, yep, still cool though, and then, Uh, we have some more Packers stuff. National Football League. Packers. Like the little encrusted kind of, um, I don't 
don't know what to say. But this is a size extra large. Kind of, I think it fits like a large. Cause it, yeah, it probably fit me. From '93. Pretty cool. This next one, I wouldn't really call it vintage, but it's still a cool sweatshirt. It's pretty old. From 06, World Series champions, St. Louis Cardinals. Pretty cool. Size large. Size large. Uh, yeah, if you want, hit me up. Oh, this is kind of cool. It says right there that World Series will stamp. If you can see it. Yep, right there. Okay. Now we got another windbreaker. Fire Columbia windbreaker. Size XL. Every color you can imagine. Got the little thing right there. Really cool. Got the side pockets. The zip up. I really think this fire. I'm debating if I keep it with my, for myself. But yeah, really cool. Then we got more USA Olympics. Guess they're going off for the USA Olympics one day. Okay. Got some crew necks. Blue crew neck USA. So tag. This is a size medium. And then we have the same thing, but in gray. So here you go. Same thing. Still fresh. Uh, let's see what size this is. This is a size extra large. Uh, fits like a large, though. Got the little USA thing. Little USA thing. Uh, yeah. So, now we're going to get onto the jerseys. That is our final thing. Uh, this is also heat, too. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. So, to start off, we have, like, five jerseys. But to start off, we have a Denver Nuggets Carmelo Anthony jersey. Fire, size large. Really cool. The RBK Little logo with the NBA. Really cool though. Then, oh my god, then we got the vintage Lakers jersey on the back. You got Kobe Bryant with number eight. If you didn't see it in the front, with the Nike. Yeah, really cool. This is a size XXL. Oh boy, it's a little big. Speaking of big, we got this double XL Peja jersey from the New Orleans Hornets, which isn't a team anymore. I love this jersey. Jersey's so cool. I don't even know how to say his last name, so I'm uh, not even going to try. This is Adidas, if you can tell. And then, oh, then we got this, uh, this isn't vintage. But we got this cool Mitchell and Ness Golden State Warriors kind of jersey just for like a top or something like that. Size medium. As you can see on the bottom, it says The City. Noah, if you're watching, I got you. Uh, but yeah. And then, this is for my personal, personal jersey collection. But I just decided to sell it because I don't wear, really wear it that often. Uh, size medium, uh, East All-Stars, Michael Red, got the Vintage Bucks logo on the top, really cool, 22, from uh, the All-Star game in 2004 in LA, and then last one, actually my grandpa found this at a rummage sale, it's not really vintage, but we got the all stitched Redskins jersey. Griffin third. RG3. You already know number 10. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up.